Welcome to the Texas Instruments webinar on Ultra Low Power Advisor. My name is Arthi Goyal, and today I will be talking about a feature in Code Composer Studio specifically targeted for the MSP430 family of devices that is designed to help developers keep ultra low power performance in mind when developing applications. For those of you new to TI embedded software and tools ecosystem, this is an area where TI has invested heavily over the years. The ecosystem is comprised of runtime software, including real-time operating systems like TI RTOS, embedded Linux, and a multitude of software packages. There are development tools, including Code Composer Studio, Integrated Development Environment, JTAG emulators, and development boards such as launchpads and evaluation modules. On top of this, there's a rich community providing expertise, turnkey solutions, product support, and training. The presentation today will focus on Ultra Low Power Advisor, or ULP Advisor, which is one of the many features available in the Code Composer Studio Integrated Development Environment. The ULP Advisor is a tool for guiding MSP430 developers to write more efficient code to fully utilize the unique ultra low power features of MSP430 microcontrollers. The tool analyzes all of your code at build time, checks it against a thorough ULP checklist, and offers advice and tips on how your code can be further optimized for lower power. They could be tips like recommending the use of MSP430's low power modes, or tips to help architect your code to perform tasks more efficiently. The advice and remarks are listed in a separate view in Code Composer Studio called the Advice View. You can click on the hyperlinks in the Advice View to get more detailed information about a specific ULP rule. You can also look at the potential power impact if the rule is left unattended and how you can modify your code to follow the ULP standard. ULP Advisor comes integrated with CCS and runs by default every time you build your project, so there is no specific setup required. Now that you know what the tool does, let's take a look at it in action. What you're looking at over here is Code Composer Studio version 5.5. I already have a demo project open that has been built, and you can see that it built clean. As I mentioned earlier, during the build process, ULP Advisor will check your code against a set of rules and will let you know of any areas of improvement in terms of ultra low power performance. These diagnostics appear in the Advice view. So we're going to take a look, closer look here at the Advice view. You can double click on this view to maximize it. As you can see here, there are three diagnostics generated by the ULP Advisor. If the brief description shown here does not provide enough information to figure out why the diagnostic was generated and how to modify your code, you can click on the hyperlink to go to the rules description page. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these diagnostics in more detail. First, I'm going to click here on the ULP rule 13.1. This page gives more background information on the ULP rule, potential power impact if it is left unattended, and suggestions on how to improve your code to adhere to the ULP standard. You can also browse through the entire ULP checklist using the navigation table over here. So this specific rule makes a recommendation to use a loop that counts down whenever possible instead of counting up. So if you want to take action upon this advice, you can go back and modify your code based on this recommendation. If you double click on the diagnostic, it will take you to the relevant line of code. So as you can see here, in this case, the recommendation is to use loops that count down to zero instead of counting up from zero. So right now the code is written to count up from zero, and we're going to change this to use this line of code, which instead counts down to zero. And we have an easy way of doing this by just changing a pound define over here in the code. 
So I'm going to change this pound define here to zero, which will then modify the code such that we're using the count uh, down to zero instead of the count up from zero. So I'm going to now go ahead and rebuild my project. And you can see that the ULP rule 13.1 no longer shows up in the advice view. We're going to follow the same process um, to try and understand what the ULP rule 8.1 is telling us. So I'm going to click on the hyperlink and um, read a little bit more about that specific advice. So what this rule is telling us is to use static and const modifiers for local variables to make the code more efficient. So if you decide to take action upon this advice, you can go back to your code, um, look at the specific line of code that it's talking about, and you can see over here that you have a local variable. Um, and the recommendation here is to add a static const before the variable declaration. So once again, we have a pound define in this code that we can simply change um, to make that change to the code. And you can see down here that now we have this variable declared as a static const. And now I'm going to go ahead and again rebuild my project. And you'll notice that the ULP rule 8.1 um, no longer shows up in the advice view. So basically, um, you can use this technique to act upon the tips and advice provided by ULP advisor so you can maximize on power optimization. One other thing to note is that by default, the ULP advisor will check your project against the list of all ULP rules that are available. If you would like to customize which rules ULP advisor checks for, you can go into project properties and select ULP advisor. And here you can see the list of options that you can check or uncheck to um, enable or disable the rules. I hope this demo gave you an idea of how the tool works and how you can benefit from it during your code development. Please feel free to visit the links shown here for more information. Thank you for taking the time to watch this webinar on ULP Advisor.